Like being fast back then was like having unspoken riz. But now that we're older and I want to be fast in bed, all of a sudden there's a problem. Um, let me see what we got. What we got. What we got. We got um. Oh, let me see what we got. Different types of kids during long day. I can't read. It's been a long fucking day. All right. Okay, so PE or physical education has always been my favorite class, right next to lunch. I mean, if lunch and PE were the only two classes I was taking, I'd be averaging a 4.0 with a master's in glizzy munching and ball handling. <laughs> Pause. Unfortunately, even though PE was my favorite class, there was always two days I dreaded. One of those days being the fitness grand pacer test. Like, bro, somebody explained to me how that's even a test. It's literally just a form of torture. They'd have us lined up like we we're in the front lines of some kind of like war, then boom. Next thing you know, we're running back and forth across the gym slowly watching our friends get picked off one by one honestly if i really wanted to i could break the fitness grand pacer test record all i'd have to do is get a mcdonald's job application or my <laughs> mom to chase me with a belt because i'm being so for real when i say the only test that'll have me sweating more than the fitness grand pacer test is a pregnancy test and no i'm not scared of having a kid I'm just scared of it being ugly. Yeah. Regardless though, the second day I hated the most during PE was the mile run. And there were so many different- I said it mild, didn't I? types of people during the mile run one of them being the try hard okay so this guy was literally built for the mile run i'm talking bro got a fitbit on to track his progress during the run and has been training for this moment his whole life i swear i'll be feeling like i'm running a good mile until i see this guy lap me three times in that two second interval of them running past you is the most disrespectful sh ever bro like in terms of running it's the literal equivalent of getting dunked on in basketball and when they're able to lap you twice that's like getting dunked on shaquille o'neal style with nuts in your mouth like this or from Ice Age. <laughs> I'm telling you right now that the tryhard kid always sussed me out because what's making you enjoy running so much? Because like at my school, there was literally no reward for complete. Bro, I'm saying like, what do you get out of that? You're not turning Super Saiyan. You're not being being Austin. You're not getting no superpower. You down show him becoming a Hashira. So Bruh. what the fuck is you doing? Being the mile like you only saw your name on the bulletin board with your mile time if you like broke a record or something and you best believe when these guys saw their names on the board they were gonna make sure you never heard the end of it jimmy pick up the production we're falling behind on sale man whatever i looked up online and your school record says you ran an eight minute mile bro i ran a five minute flat get on my level bro jimmy it's been 15 years you need to move on <laughs> wait what move on i can't i can't move on <laughs> The fitness grand pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity <laughs> test that but low key, i can't even hate on the tryhard build because they'll always have that dog in them for running a five minute mile flat meanwhile i only have that sausage in me for eating the hot dogs in the lunchroom and now that i think about it for some reason these guys always pulled all the girls in class like being fast back then was like having unspoken riz but now that we're older and i want to be fast in bed all of a sudden there's a problem like I'm saying. it makes sense bro just because i lasted two seconds seven now the second type of person during the mile run was the people who walked now now, if I'm being honest, y'all used to annoy me because at my school, once everyone finished the mile, we were able to play basketball or dodgeball, but these people would be walking the whole entire class period. Like they'd be walking for so long that the class would end and they would still be walking. And I'm gonna keep it a bean. Most of the time it was the hot Cheeto girls, bro. Like they'll struggle to walk a whole mile, but let you take a single talkie. Bro, don't bring on no damn hot Cheeto girl because them bitches aggravate out their back and they'll turn into the flash like don't get me wrong i hate running too but there's no reason you can't at least do a light jog or a speed walk like bro i'm being so for real when i say if these guys were in the underground railroad they for sure getting caught <laughs> you no know, harriet tubman looking down this all right all right bro i'm sorry <laughs> Yo, he ain't nah, wrong. bro. Uh, let me stop. Let me stop. Last but not least are the sick people. These people could either complete a mile run or be halfway done. It does not matter. They were going to puke or straight up just collapse. That was a given. And I don't even blame them because back then running a whole mile would take everything out of me. Like after my run, I'd be laying on the floor starting to fade in and out of heaven, bro. Like I'm seeing God and Jesus, bro. Like one second I see my PE teacher looking down at me and the next second I see Jesus reaching out his hand, <laughs> bro. Hey, bro, are you good? <sighs> yeah, man. Uh, I'm good. Ah! Also, one of the worst feelings was getting a side stitch mid run, which by the way, that's that sharp pain you feel on the side of your stomach when you're running. Like it straight up would feel like I got impaled with a spear on my side. Actually, hold on. Now that I think about it, why did they call it a side stitch? Like that's low key kind of problematic. Yo, babe, I got a side stitch. Oh, side stitch. I thought you were going to say side bit. Also, PE teachers, oh I'm not about God. to let y'all off that easy. Y'all getting the smoke too. Because tell me why 90% of PE teachers are built like they're Peter Griffin. You I'm trying to force insane. me to run a mile run when the only time I see you running is when you're running up my patience. Hey, hey, maybe you should chill out, bro. Ch chill out. Hey, nah, bro. Let him 
cook! Let him cook! make me run when you should be running up them pockets. Ooh. I'm double checking my hit list. You think I was doing audits. Ooh. In fact, hold on. You a gym rat without the gym. Mm. You gotta fix that hairline, nigga. Hurry up and give it a trim. Mm. You stalking them girls in your class and I'm finna turn federal. Mm. I'd say you could walk a mile in my shoes, but you can't walk in general. Mm. Hey, chill, chill. This is why y'all can't let me cook. But hey, if you guys want to do me a favor, go check out my last video about the worst job I ever worked. If you're thinking about working in the future, you want to watch this video, bro. And it's funny. It's six minutes long, so it's longer than this video. But uh, anyways, peace out and stay lit. Alright, guys, make some pivot, yeah.